And now joining us to discuss the Israeli Arab protests against the United States Middle East peace deal is a former Likud Knesset member and the president of the Likud Supreme Court, Michael Kleiner. Thank you so much for being with us now. Nice to be with what? you. Who, who are the Arab Israelis who are protesting against this deal and what are their biggest issues with it? I, I, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, the, those who are loyal to the state of Israel and want to stay citizens. Uh, but I, uh, practically I believe it's uh, the other way around. Uh, look, if an Israeli Arab is, uh, um, is a good citizen and he's abiding the law and he uh, identifies himself with Israel as it is a Jewish state and he is a pride minority, keeps his heritage, tradition and doesn't want to be part of another country, he has nothing to worry. Well, but part of part of the issue is that with the with the United States' deal, they're talking about the Arab Triangle, you know, Khalkulia or Jaljulia and, and, and Um al Fakhim and, and several other cities that would be negotiated as potentially being swapped into the Palestinian Authority. This is a result of the logic of the plan of the two states plan, which you know that I oppose. Uh, which uh, says uh, uh, separating Jews and Arabs, and of course, uh, uh, as those people in those areas uh, are uh, Arabs, that some of them uh, have a problem of lifting the Israeli flag and identify themselves with the Israeli national anthem and uh, feel more with the Palestinians. They are an irredenta. All the irredentas in history that were a population nearing to another state, near the border with another state, naturally wanted to be stay where they are, but be part of the, of the country of their nationality. This was the reason of the Trump plan. The decision but then so why are they protesting the, against it? I, I don't know. Look, there always is a minority which is protesting. Usually, it's issues like that. I, at I some time, at some, after some transition time, the people will have to make a referendum and decide okay. themselves. So I think the, the bigger question here, though, is how the majority of Arab Israelis feel towards the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, in the case that there would be a Palestine that is established as a, as a nation, would the majority of these people want to stay in Israeli, especially in this, especially in this specific area? I, I guess that today the reason that they are acting not naturally. The reaction, we want to stay with the hated Jewish state, with this country we don't identify with, uh, and, and not with our natural uh, brethren uh, in their home state that will be established, it's not normal. I guess the reason is economic, because Israel is a, has a rule of law and a, a, a developing economy, and, uh, and, they are, and the Palestinian, they believe that it's corru a corrupt regime, uh, which is not representing even their own their own people and the best interests of their own people. If this will change within a Middle East peace and there will be progress also in the areas of Judea and Samaria after a peace agreement and with 50 billion dollars coming right. from the United States. So maybe in 10 or 20 years, if there is a referendum, they will change their mind. All right, well, thank you so much for joining thank us. You.